Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can record splat to clat inside GarageBand. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So I just launched GarageBand and we create, click on create a new song. The first thing I suggest is that you create at least one track because if you instantiate straight away it's splat to clat and you try to record something, it will not give you the ability to go back to the track view. So go, for example, to the keyboard, select Smart Piano as an example to create a track. So let's set um, um, something for arpeggio and then let's record that. Okay, so let's go to the track view and let's see what we have recorded. It's, uh, it's okay, but as you can see, I have not really started very well at the beginning, so I perhaps want to re-record that. So click on that, click on it again, select the delete, and double-click on the piano, and let's re-record that to see if I can do a better job this time. Okay, so let's go and see the track again. Yeah, that uh, the start is much better now, and let's trim this to just uh, four bars, and then let's click on it and select loop. Nice. Now let's click on the plus sign. Let's move to the left and select audio unit extension. So let's uh, scroll down and let's select splat to clat. And here it is loading. Okay, perfect. The first thing I want to do is to select uh, a factory chops. Why not? Or oh, actually factory kit, a starter bait, and this 80s one will work nicely. So if I click play, it will play using this MIDI file here inside uh, Splat to Clat. Okay, nice. Or I can um, choose to uh, use directly this pad like so and indeed i can record using the pad so let me show you but first of all deselect that midi files otherwise it will play at the same time so let's record for example just the kick drum and some uh, uh, snare as well let's click record <laughs> Okay, perfect. Let's go back to the track view. And as you can see, I have recorded that. Of course, you can quantize. So you can go on settings and select quantization to, for example, one quarter. And then, of course, you have a better, better filling, of course, for a, uh, or better alignment of the notes to the uh, note divisions. <laughs> Of course, this also means that you can use the piano roll editor here. Just go on edit mode and you can also create notes yourself. And indeed, you can also replace the ones which you had um, already there, right? Like so. And you can continue, of course, the work like that as you place. Okay, the other way to actually um, import um, what is being played here in the MIDI file or splat clat inside here is to actually select that MIDI file and hold, click and hold, select export MIDI file, and then export that MIDI file, click on move. Now, once you've done that, deselect that again, close that and go back to the track view, delete the previous performance, of course, because we don't want that anymore. Let's go on the loop view here, let's select files, um, we have here yeah, something which we previously used. Well, I am, I'm going to delete it as I don't need it. You can click on Browse Items, and then you can go where you recorded uh, your export, like so. And you can import it, and it will appear here soon, in a moment. Okay, then click and hold, and then drag. And there you go, you have. Now, let's listen. 
Something I noticed, um, the first time you actually play a MIDI file which has been imported, double click on Splat Cloud and make sure that, uh, yes, in some cases what it does, it moves to the next one and this is a bit of a bug, so make sure that you select the previous one like so and then of course deselect that MIDI file and now it should play OK. <laughs> Okay, much better. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and found this tutorial useful. And as always, see you next time. Bye.